Oh. Welcome back to the channel everybody, I hope you're well. Uh, for those of you that watch this channel and you're expecting some kind of uh, guitar-y kind of effects pedal kind of thing, every now and then Johnny decides to jump on a motorbike and nearly get killed and uh, decides to just disappear for a couple of hours and uh, talk shit. So apologies if you've uh, got the notification and you've come for some kind of guitar video so that will continue don't you worry. So we're a little low on fuel but it's okay. So let me explain what's going on. This is the Honda Pan European SC1100 Part 2 Long Term Review It's not really long term as such Because I've had this bike since last winter And originally I bought this bike as a winter hack That was the plan Just to You know, buy a cheap bike for the winter Because I've got the ZZR 1400 And I didn't want to use that through the winter for obvious reasons because one I didn't want to crash it and two it's a really nice looking bike and if I crashed it I'd be sick hello so I bought the pan just to get around in winter that was that was why I got it however the plans changed slightly because what's been happening is let's just shut this visor what's been happening is um, I've been riding this pan more than I've been riding the ZZR and I love the ZZR, it's a phenomenal bike, it looks amazing, it goes amazing, it does everything you want it to do, however, I'm just not getting on with it, I'm just, weirdly, and I don't know why that is, and I did pick up on this in the very first pan video that I did, when I picked the bike up, is that for some reason, I've got more confidence throwing this round than I have in the ZZR. Now I'm not new to bikes, I've been riding since I was 15 and I'm 50 now. So I know my way around the bike, I know how to corner, how to wheelie, how to stop, how to do all the good stuff. But the ZZR, it, it's a difficult beast to chuck about, I mean, Father Christmas. Let me explain, let me explain what's going on. I just can't seem to chuck the ZZR round as confident as I can this pan. I don't know why that is. You know, again, I'm not a shit rider. I've been doing this a long time. And last week, I was out with the lads. You know, a couple of them are on sports bikes. And where the ZZR is concerned, in a straight line, it just kills everything off. But you get it to a corner, it just takes a little bit more thinking. You've got to slow down earlier, it takes a bit more wrestling to get it to go round the corners. And uh, it's not it's not a pleasant experience, you know, it's a big old it's a big old beast. But the pan is a big beast, the pan's a big bike, and it's heavy when you're trying to move it. That's a nice car, mate. But it's just easier to throw about and I do not know why that is you know it doesn't take you to you don't have to lean off the thing you can just point it round the corner and it'll go it's swooshy it's nice it's polite and it ain't slow either you know there's people who think that these pans are slow they're not I've kind of fallen deeply in love with the Honda pan and I never thought that that was going to be possible. I paid 1,500 quid for it, 71,000 mile. It's nearly on 72,000 mile. It's had everything done to it. It's been well loved, well looked after. And this thing's never missed a beat. Never. Some little shits tried to rob it. And I had to get a new ignition barrel. And it, it's, it's fine. You know, it's, it's never put a foot wrong, this thing. Now don't get me wrong again, I do love the ZZR, but it's a difficult bike to throw about. And when you're out with the lads and you go out for a few hours, you know, and your back starts aching and your arse starts aching and your hips going and your wrists are sore and all the usual shit. 
it's just become it was just becoming a headache. So I've just decided that this, the, the Honda Pan's going to be it's going to be the, the number one bike for me now. This is pretty much going to be how it's going to be. And for fifteen hundred quid. I didn't think I could enjoy a 1500 pound motorbike to be honest, I just didn't think it was possible. I've always been a sucker for the nice new shiny bike, the bullshit marketing schemes, I'm a victim of it. I'm an absolute victim of it. I nearly bought a new fucking blade when I went to the NEC bike show because of the big swooshy video that they had, Fire Blade from Honda, and I nearly did it. I nearly signed on the line there and then, but then I had a word with myself. And it was actually nothing to do with the wife, because luckily I don't have a wife that tells me what I can and can't do. Um, this junction's fucking terrible. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I am, I'm lucky. I have not got one of them wives that's, you know, horrible. You're not buying one of them, you're not getting one of them. Me, 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 me. I, I don't have one of them wives. Anyway, I digress about my wife. But I've got a little bit of a decision to make. When I get the money from the ZR, which will probably be about six grand, I could, if I wanted, then maybe buy an ST1300, you know, get a newer one, maybe a 2011, 2012, or whatever, one of the really later ones, possibly with low mileage. I can just have that bike forever. But there's mixed feelings about the 1100 and the 1300 because some people swear down that the 11 is better than the 13. It's a different geometry, it's a different shape. It feels better at speed. We all know about the death wobble. So if you've got a 1300 or you've got an 1100, let me know. Let's just go round here. One of the things that did come up as well was obviously I ride with a few people good mates they've seen me riding bikes for years different types of bikes every one of which I've said this will be the last bike that I buy I'll never buy another motorbike I love this bike too much and then you know four months later you're fucking changing it for something else one of me my best mates who I ride with he's got a ZR 1400 as well and he said go on go on Go on. He said to me, you're better on the pan than you are on the ZZR. When I'm behind you, you're into corners quicker. You look like you're happier on the pan than you are on the ZZR. What's that about? Maybe this is the bike that just fits me. Maybe I'll take me six grand and I won't buy another bike, maybe I'll just put the money in the bank, wait till this one throws its hand in, and I'll just buy another one. Maybe it's maybe it's full-time pans. And if I'm honest, I've got absolutely no problem with that whatsoever. None. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. Need to get over. Thank you. Need to get over again. Ah, thank you. It's a really easy bike to position in the corners and it will just kind of go and I'm, I'm definitely more upright when I'm cornering on this. Whereas obviously there's, you know, a ZZR or something like that, you're kind of having to do that, that lean, you know, get one ass cheek off it and get it, get it to go round the corner. This doesn't take any effort whatsoever. I think it's time to admit that the Honda Pan ST1100 that I bought as a winter hack is now my number one bike. I never thought I'd see the day. I never thought I'd see the day. Something else as well is that I'll tell you about Pan Riders and this is gonna sound really, really cheesy. This will sound more cheesy it was unsafe to stop there, I felt like I needed to progress. I, what I find with, when you buy a bike, when you buy a particular maker bike, you join all these like Facebook groups and 
forums to find out information about what tyre pressure, what oil, what this, what that, blah, 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 blah. It's making this noise, it's doing this. Has anybody got one of these? The Pan-European group, and I'm only in one on Facebook. I think I'm in one of them. I think it's called the ST1100 Elite. That group's phenomenal because there's no knobheads in it. You know what I mean? I've been on Fireblade forums and, and Jigsaw forums and what have you, and they've been fucking terrible for people. Talking about chicken strips and fucking, eh, you need to fucking ride like a fucking man. Mem, 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 mem. You, know, you know, that type of, that type of person. That doesn't seem to exist on a pan forum, and I don't know if it's because we're old. Is it because we're old? I'm not that old. I'm 50. You know what I mean? I'm not that old. I've still got a good few years left in front of me. You know, maybe 30, 35 years. I fucking hope so, anyway. But maybe it's that. It's just, they just seem to be like real nice, helpful, no snarky comments. Just people that generally want to fucking help and give their wisdom. I appreciate you watching. It's just a little bit of a ramble. It was just a catch up to uh, let you know what was going down in the world of Honda pans and why you probably need one. We all need a Honda pan.